Hey everybody, so I'm sitting here waiting for one of the stores I go to to open and uh, I wanted to jump on and talk about employee morale. So this is one of those things that's always like a hot topic, it goes with retention and um, morale is obviously a completely different thing than retention. We've talked about retention before. Retention is the result, right? Not a action you can take. Retention is a result of doing everything correctly. Morale, however, is, you know, that's your staff, that's their feelings and that's what affects our performance. So I want to talk a little bit about that. And morale is so important. When your staff have low morale, they, they struggle to perform. They don't want to come to work. They're going to produce um, less product or poorer product, depending on what industry you're in. And you know, there's nothing worse than being that employee and coming to come to work every day and just literally dreading what you do. So let's talk about things that affect morale. Transparency, right? Whenever people feel like management or leadership or someone at the top of the organization is hiding something from them or is being less than truthful about circumstances, that's a big one. They can't trust you. They can't trust their job security. And so rumors start flying. People become more disgruntled. Morale plummets. Honesty and transparency are like the top, top things. Giving people credit where credit is due. That is also one of the top things for morale. You cannot expect someone to continue to do work and do quality work when someone else is getting the credit or they're not being acknowledged for what they're doing. And um, another thing too that I really like to stress when I talk about morale is no one should ever feel attacked at work. And we've talked about this before with harassment, but I like to emphasize it here too because you want to feel safe in your workspace and you want people to be able to come to work and feel comfortable. I'm not saying like, you know, put your pajamas on and take a nap under your desk. No, that's not what I'm saying, but come to work, be confident in what you do. Know that you have your job security, know that the work you're doing matters and that it's important to the company and to the company's bottom line. So essentially morale starts at the top, right? If I, as the owner of a company do not have, or the CEO or whatever particular position you have, is not setting a good example, is not coming out and being honest and transparent about what's going on. I'm not crediting people where credit is due. I'm not acknowledging quality work when I see it. Um, even just, hey, you know, you did a great job doing that. Well, it's just my regular job, but you did a great job. It goes so, so far. You know, obviously money and benefits go a long way too, but those everyday things, those affirmations we need as humans, that we've done a good job, that we're doing a good job, and that what we're doing matters are super, super important for morale. So that's what we feel for today. And remember, you can find us at jsharing.com. All of our services and products are out there, and we'll talk soon.